as through yoga so very quick and short introduction of uh, patak sir so he is a master of master of surgery member of national academy of medical sciences he is a retired general surgeon from government esis hospital mulund in 2010 he is also a yoga consultant at present of kaivalyadham yoga institution maharashtra branch he is the first one to start yoga opd for patients in maharashtra introduced yoga for first mbbs students all over maharashtra to through muhs he has delivered about 1000 lectures on yoga awareness in india us dubai mauritius explaining what anatomically and physiological changes occur in our body while practicing yogic kriyas that is why we don't get any kind of diseases so he also has his publications yoga abhyas dr chashmatun in marathi yoga through doctors i in english and yoga as therapy a medical view which explains what are the indications contraindications and limitations of yoga in each disease it's a very good guide for yoga teachers and sir is also a recipient of yoga ratna award for work in the field of yoga So, sir, it's an honor to have you here today, and we welcome you humbly. Yes, sir. Over to you. Okay. Thank you very much for kind in introduction. Uh, today's my topic is scientific approach towards stress through yoga. Before starting, I'll just start with the prayer. गुरुर् ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्में श्री गुरवे नम तस्में श्री गुरवे नम विथ ड्यू रिस्पेक्ट टू स्वामी कुलानंद जी डॉक्टर नाइक एंड ऑल द योगा लवर आय विश देम ऑन द यू ऑफ international day of yoga very happy yeah. yoga day now the you of national day of yoga very happy yoga day so today's topic is a scientific approach to the stress now why we have to discuss so much of the stress nowadays the reason being the 21st century is called century of tension and the century of tension gives rise to mental tension which causes disturbed mind and because of the disturbed mind there is a increased respiratory rate pulse rate increases blood pressure increases acidity increases i'll give one simple example usually when you are going home that is your everyday path so you don't uh, bother about it or you are not much uh, particular about walking and all that because you know the road but suppose sometimes the street lights are not there and in the evening time you are coming and probably you have collected money from the atm and you are walking towards your house and what happens because there is no light you are not able to see the road properly but suddenly you hear some noise behind you somebody is following you so what happens you think oh who is he whether he is a person who will rob me has he seen me coming out of atm so the thought to start in your mind and you start walking fast your respiratory rate increases pulse rate increases blood pressure increases you walk for some time fast and then what happened suddenly you will find somebody is coming from the front who is a neighbor of your house and instead of talking to you he talks to the person who is calling you oh mr ramesh where were you so you realize that oh he is ramesh he is staying in the next building unnecessary i got panic that whether he is a robber or what ah oh, relieved so your pulse rate comes down blood pressure comes down respiratory rate comes down so this one single thought that 
whether that person is a robber and he will rob me that has given you stress it has disturbed your mind and if such things keep on happening again and again the human physiology changes to pathology and this is set sin which is not caused by any organism you know malaria is caused by some organism typhoid is caused by some organism bacteria but the number of diseases which i will enumerate in the next slide they are not caused by any organism like acidity diabetes hypertension myocardial infarction obesity constipation asthma cancer and psychological problems these all diseases are caused by mental tension and not by any organism now where this mental tension builds in it builds in when your mind is disturbed that is why it is said behind every disease there is a cause and no drug can reach that cause and that is mind and how you can set it right mind is affected by stress and this mental stress can we treat it medicine modern medicine no but we can definitely treat it with yoga and that is the importance of the yoga now before going to the other parts of the topic we'll just shortly discuss what is total health defined by who is it just absence of disease is total health no it is it should be at the level of physical mental social spiritual and emotional now as a doctor i can only offer you health at physical level but rest of them and most important mental which is not possible with the help of medicine but it is possible with the help of yoga oh sorry this by mistake this figure has come probably very cute na you would like to play with him i played with him i was conducting yoga classes in bhandup complex that is a filtration plant which supplies water to mumbai we used to conduct class 6 in the 6 am in the morning and 7 7:30 we used to get it over when we were finishing our class this came to our class and we were all surprised to see such a small cute so we played with him would you like to play definitely yes sir. but now you can't dare na so the stress is like that now can you read this i think you have to wide open your eyes and see what is written but now you can read it better now you can read it still better and this stress the from small 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 point it goes on building up building up and the end of the fag end of the day you say oh i am totally stressed out you hold your head so small small point we don't remember we don't recollect that these things are happening in our life every day but we don't take it for granted that they are giving you stress now what is stress whatever we always say stress is distress but stress can be used stress that is a positive form of stress which has got a beneficial effect on health motivation performance and emotional well being suppose you are taking part in some contest or some uh, marathon race or something like that or you are going to play cricket match world cup so that is a positive stress you are going to win it you are preparing yourself to win the match or you are appearing for the 12th exam so you are preparing for the exam so you want to get good marks so that you can get admission to medical or engineering college so this is a positive stress here you are not having stress here your pulse rate may not increase your uh, hormones may be secreted but there is no fear but what is the common word used by us stress is a distress it is a negative form of stress the one that we most commonly associate with 
every day to the life that is defined as a physical mental or emotional strain or tension it demands the demands exceed the personal and social resources sir are you able to see the ppt yes sir yes sir yes sir ha ah. ha ah. when the physical you demands exceeds the personal or social response suppose you can carry on suppose 25 kg weight at a time but if you are asked to carry 100 kg weight it is beyond your capacity or now it is event event management is there so suppose you have to prepare a hall for a event for about 500 people for that you need 50 people to work but if you are provided only 10 people then you go under stress this is your body's reaction to the challenge or demand now this can be positive such as when it helps you are to avoid danger or meet a deadline now stress factors broadly fall into four types of category physical means if somebody attacks you hits you so that is a physical stress psychological means somebody insults you say oh you don't know this also psychosocial means if you are insulted in a group of people or in a mob in front of other people then it is a psychosocial and psycho spiritual means the people who are in the path of spirituality they are doing sadhana but they don't get the moksha or they suppose somebody practices sadhana saying that i want to see god somebody says yes i am practicing and i have seen the god but in your practice you don't see the god so you get frustrated so that is at the psycho spiritual level now there are four sources for stress first and foremost important is money we can boast anything but not the money hindi mein kehte hai hum sabhi ka song la sakte lekin paise ka song nahi la sakte because money is money then work whether you are able to work if it is beyond your capacity then again you get a stress family responsibilities looking after elderly people or suppose your earning is less and you have to look after 10 people into the family so that is also family responsibilities and own health concern if you are not healthy you may not be able to carry out all the functions all the work look after all the people go to the office work in the office and also look at the home so these are other health concerns so these are the four sources for stress now as i told you just now that there are small small things which you don't recollect or we don't think that it can cause stress but it does cause it may be 1% 0.5% but at the end of the day all these they come together and make a big jolt to you oh i am really stressed out too. so let us see what are the things suppose in the morning you have to catch up the train or you have to go for a class and you get up late you put alarm that alarm rings but what you do you put your hand on that okay i'll get up for 5 minutes and you go to sleep again and you suddenly get up after 1 hour oh i am late i am supposed to be in the office now so you start running it so that stress is there then you go to the toilet you go to the uh, basin for brushing and there is no water to the tap oh what is this i am getting late and there is no water how can i brush how can I take my bath stress wait for toilet in the morning those who are staying in the chal or suppose in the flat they have got only single toilet and you are in hurry but somebody has gone elderly person is uh, occupying the toilet and he is taking long time so again you get stress when you will come when i will get ready when i will go to the office i don't understand why they cannot finish it early in the morning they know that my office time is this so they should keep my to- toilet free for me 
bathroom free for me all these sentences they come and more the thing more the sentences come more the thoughts come your sympathetic activity increases now because you are getting late so you somehow try to get ready and then mummy says come on take the breakfast i kept it ready no 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 i am late i will i will see some or i will skip the breakfast so not able to take breakfast now because you are late you are not reaching in time to the office or examination hall if you go late to the office your boss refuse you with a warm welcome oh late latif i a i a i a this is the third time you are coming late isn't it so one casual leave will be cut or suppose you are reaching late to the examination hall so oh, all the people other students they already seen the uh, question paper they have made up their mind which question they can answer better which can uh, first they should write and i am late so another 10 minutes i'll miss so you again get tension suppose you are not read properly then, when you see the question paper you are not confident about answering the question so you get again tension you are worried about the result and as usual if you don't get good mark you will be scolded by parents and then you will get angry yourself that time you will feel oh if i would have studied it would have been better na but that comes at a later day so you got less mark so you don't get the admission to the desired college desired course you cannot uh, you are uh, have got a lot of thought that i want to become doctor or i want to become uh, scholar or iit it uh, but your marks are less so you don't get admission so you again get frustrated because your education is not good you don't get a good job if you are not getting good job you are not going to get good salary suppose you get a good job when you are in corporate sector you will find that there is target achieving problem i am a honorary surgeon of uh, indian cancer society so we used to conduct camps all over maharashtra gujarat karnataka so i used to visit different strata of the people corporate people school uh, then ngos like that so in corporate sector i have seen that the boys of the 25 to 35 age 50% of them they were having high blood pressure not 25 to 35 is not the age to get a blood pressure but they were having why because the target achieving problem in the corporate another simple thing you go to the market so you say oh, there is a bank uh, atm near so i will uh, get take the money from atm and i will purchase in the market you go to the atm there is a board atm out of order so you again get tension what to do now whether to go home or go to some other place and get the money from that atm suddenly what happen you find your friend is coming from front you say oh good good you came and uh, met me very good you came like a god see i am i came here to purchase something in the market i thought i will get the money from atm but that atm is out of order can you lend me some money i will return it to you tomorrow morning if he is good friend and if he has got money in the purse he will give okay take this 500 and return it tomorrow but if he hasn't got the will wish to help you what he will say oh are you should have called me just 5 minutes back i just given 500 rupees to that uh, grocery people i don't have money now so again you get stress you think of going to some picnic or going to some for travel you do i don't get the train ticket suppose you get ticket train is late once you get into the train you don't get the seat to sit so these are small minor minor points just remember recollect how many times you have faced this and these are definitely piling up to give stress few other causes death of near and dear insulting in front of others teasing by friends not able to do any activity properly not able to conduct class so the teachers or professors if they are not well read 
they may not be able to say conduct the class very nicely usually teachers they do feel when they finish the class no no i could not do give it up to the mark somehow i have conducted the class family members illness own illness financial crisis in last two years corona threat flood earthquake if you are taking part in the contest losing in any contest not able to look after your parents family quarrels on property matter which is very common nowadays brothers they fight for property husband wife not getting well along today they are married after two years they go for divorce so this keeps on going so all these things they give you tension they give you stress and this stress what are the common symptoms you will get aches and pains tense muscles become easily agitated heart rate will increase you might get some chest pain like sensation nausea stomach upset constipation or sometimes diarrhea you may get depression or anxiety because of the stress you may get anger oh i cannot do this so you will be angry on yourself only you will be irritable restlessness sometimes you may have overwhelming or unrest upset you may be positive or negative depending upon the type of the emotion good or bad you might get trouble in sleeping or sometimes you may sleep for long time racing thoughts or constant worry problems with your memory or concentration usually because of this you forget oh yesterday i told that i will come tomorrow at 10 o'clock but i have forgotten i mai tension mein tha na bhul gaya usual answer is that i was under tension so i have forgotten and that indulges to bad habits like smoking drinking now this stress what your points have said just now we have seen and when we say oh what that what there is no water in the tap how can i get ready these two sentences they have gone and hit into the brain and then they will affect this system the sympathetic system will be activated and it will act on all these organs when they act on these organs they cause the problem ideally what should be the thing ideally health adaptation response to the stress whenever there is stress body will work in such a way that will it will overcome the stress and the moment stress is gone you should be normal this is the normal phenomena so responses must be initiated rapidly maintained for a proper amount of time and then turn off to ensure an optimal result but if this doesn't happen why this doesn't happen because first you get late get up late so first trigger then you go to the basin there is no water second trigger you go to the train train is late third trigger so this goes on happening so what happens the first trigger came sympathetic response has come then it will come back to normal but before it come back to normal second trigger comes that there is no water at the basin so this goes on continuously and that is why the patient land up in stress now how it affect it goes and acts on hypothalamus from hypothalamus corticotropin releasing factor is released which acts on pituitary gland it secretes acth adrenocorticotropic hormone which goes and acts on cortex of the adrenal gland which is situated over the kidneys which secretes cortisol and this cortisol goes and acts on all organs of the body these all organs of the body it uh, uh, acts on heart heart rate increases pulse rate increases if it acts on the stomach there is a increase in acidity intestinal motility will increase so these all things happen also these trigger the different thoughts coming because of the different incidences it goes and acts also on locus ferulus and when it acts on locus ferulus which is a part of in the brain it secretes epinephrine and norepinephrine and this again goes and acts on all the organs of the body and this causes disruption in the 
functioning of the body and disease sets in. Now, important step in stress management is treatment of the stress-related symptoms is to increase energy expenditure. Because of the increased sympathetic activity, there is increased release of energy into the body because it is a flight or fright response. Whether you go away from the situation or you fight the situation, for the both situation, you require energy. Suppose there is a fire. So either you go and fight with that, you take the water, it's a fire extinguisher and try to come to control the fire or you run away from there. For both the things, you require energy for the muscles to work. That is why a lot of energy is released. So the person who is under stress, he has got a lot of energy released. Now this energy has, has to be channelized. But usually what happens, the person is under stress, what he does, he sits at one place and keep on thinking, what will happen, what I do, what to do. And so the energy keeps on bubbling. So asanas on a regular basis helps to turn down the production of stress hormones and associated neurochemicals and also utilize some of the energy. Over two, 20 to 30 minutes meditation sessions also can give rise or help to reduce the tension because the triggers are cut down, which are going to the hypothalamus and sympathetic activity is reduced and it will help to calm down the person. It will help to reduce the blood pressure, reduce the heart rate, reduce the pulse rate. Now channelize the energy, utilize the energy by practicing different asanas if they are not contraindicated because the person who has got stress, if he doesn't have any other disease like diabetes, blood pressure, heart attack, obesity, then he can practice all the asanas. So it will consume some of the energy. Then to stop the messages going to the brain, which is the cause of the stress, we do divert the mind from recurring the thoughts in the mind. So breath awareness, when just concentrate on breath, how the breath is coming in and how it's going out. Then we specially advise to practice Kriya Yoga, which consists of Anlom Milom 10 rounds, Omkar 10 rounds and Gayatri 10 rounds and meditation with eye closure technique. So this will help to manage the stress. Now disturbed mind, mental stress and diseases, these are called modern lifestyle disorders, acidity, diabetes, hypertension. All these are caused by mental stress. And this can be only controlled if the trigger to the hypothalamus is gone, then the mind will be calm the sympathetic activity will be less, parasympathetic activity will increase and you will get rid of the diseases. Now, this can be practiced by yoga. Now, a little bit about yoga is a 5,000-year-old science. There are a lot of misconceptions. Now, there have been a lot of awareness in the last 20, 30 years. But previously, people used to think, oh, yoga means we have to practice it after retirement, after age of 60, 70, going to the mountain area and then sitting over there, standing on one leg. It's not like that. It is for our family people only. It is Indian science. We still don't respect our own science. Western people, they understood the importance of yoga and they are practicing it more methodically than us. Now, yoga can be practiced by anybody and at any age. The yogic science says, Yuva vruddhokti vruddhova vyadito durbalopiva abhyasa tusiddhi maapnuti sarva yogeshva tandritaha. Means, if he is healthy, unhealthy, having some disease, maybe of any age, from 10 years to 50, 60, 70, 80, 100, any years, he can practice yoga. So, there is no bar for that. In fact, by practicing yoga, you can set the biological clock of your body in such a way that it will not go wrong. And if something happens, you can add some more kriya. Now, sages who are practicing in Himalayas, austerity, penance, meditation for the sake of moksha. So when they are practicing this, if they get some illness, there will be disturbance in their austerity, penance, 
so they are practicing such science such yogic practices that they will be healthy there will not be any disturbance in their finance now this is the most important factor of yogic practices modern person he doesn't have he still try to teach about yoga but he saw that mr x he is very regular in the office he never takes any leave he is never having any health problem so he asked are you never take leave he said no no i don't require because i uh, always uh, fit what you are doing hum hindi mein kahe kis chakki ka aata khate ho bole tum bhai to tum kya karte ho bole i practice yoga oh you practice yoga okay okay so for that okay then i will also practice because good health is a side product of yogic practices and that is why the modern man of 21st century who is very selfish but because total health can be achieved with the help of yoga that is why he is ready to practice yoga nowadays yoga has got a holistic approach as a modern allopathic person i always say what we have done we have divided the human being in multiple pieces each piece is treated by separate specialist without knowing what is happening with the other piece but yoga has got a holistic approach if water practices are given if you practice it will keep all the systems of your body in a proper condition they will function properly and you will not get any illness yoga has got a preventive aspect as i told you the sages they are practicing yoga to keep themselves healthy not to get any disease now our modern medicine is also taking care of this if you go to some medical college there are different department surgery medicine gynecology pediatrics similarly there is one more department that is community health what is the function of this department or psm preventive and social medicine they try to find out the cause of the disease and try to treat it what is their principle prevention is better than cure and same principle is seen in yogic practices now what are the yogic practices you can do breath awareness means just concentrate on breath just close your eyes and watch the breath don't do anything else then netrasnan brahma mudra shoulder movement jal niti jal dauti kapal bhati ujjayi agni sarudyan bhujangasan naukasan crocodile pose sadagi rolling and now what are the general principles of practicing yoga you should start with shavasan for 5 minutes and then start with asanas first in supine then prone position then sitting position then standing position and then practice all the things which i have told you in the first part now we'll just take a short look toward the few of the things jal niti this is for keeping the nasal passage clear because all the organs of the body they require oxygen now from where you get oxygen you get from the atmospheric air which enters to the nostrils so your both the nostrils should be patent there should not be any block and for that if you practice jal niti every day this is a niti pot you have taken lukewarm water into that the salt is added and you put the nozzle in such a way that water will go from one nostril and it will come out from the other nostril now this you can practice every day it will clear the nasal passage reduce the nasal mucosal swelling the organisms or dust particles are there into that part they will be thrown out because of the cleaning of the passage with the help of niti water it opens up the sinuses in the nasal cavity that drains the secretion of sinuses and you will not get sinusitis the smell sensation will improve we as you have added salt to that it has got antiseptic property that also will get benefit lukewarm water warmness in the nose will kill the organisms which are there into the nasal passage and you will get maximum benefit now this should be practiced every day but those who have got ear drum perforation they will not practice jal niti they can practice sutra niti or rubber niti but those who have got nasal polyps they will not practice rubber niti now jal dhauti is meant for getting relief from acidity now here we have to take five to six glasses of water lukewarm water the salt is added to that in the morning and then you have to stand up like this put your both hands on the knee and take your tummy inside 
tickle with the posterior pharynx and whatever water comes out let it come out this is called woman now this should be practiced what benefit you will get the water will come over here if it is to be practiced in the morning so water five to six glasses of water come over here it will dilute the acid which is there into the stomach and if it is diluted the nuisance value of the acid will be reduced and then you are vomiting out so it will not remain here so you will not get hyperacidity you will not get ulcer duodenal or peptic ulcer because you are vomiting it out acid level will be less if your acid level is less you will eat less if you are eating less you will not get obesity now some of this water because if you are taken five to six glasses of water all will not come out few some of the water will go ahead it will clean all 29 feet intestine if all the intestines are clean the digestive power will improve you will not get digestive problem some of this water will go ahead it will be more water content of the fecal matter so you will not get constipation if you don't get constipation you will not get pile fissures and bleeding piles these are all the benefits you get by doing jaldoshi there are three four more which you can uh, study in the book those who have got high blood pressure heart disease abdominal hernia major abdominal surgery glaucoma that is increased pressure into the eyes pregnancy gastric ulcer complicated ulcer physically weak person they will not practice jaldoshi what they can do they can do drink two glasses of water in the morning and don't take anything for half an hour next is the kapalabhati kapalabhati before going to the details you know the capacity of the lung when you breathe in you breathe in just 500 ml air in and 500 ml air out if you breathe in heavily you can breathe in 3500 ml air if you breathe in heavily and breathe out you can breathe out 4600 ml that is called the vital capacity if you are normally breathing in and breathing out your lung never become empty there are 2300 ml air suppose you breathe out heavily still 1200 ml air is there means our lungs they never become empty and with each expiration the exchange of gases is occurring now when you are doing kapalbhati normal inhalation and forceful exhalation whole of this passage is clean whatever dust particles are there they are thrown out so bacteria are thrown out so less chances of getting any infection over here because of the normal inhalation and forceful exhalation when the alveolar closes for forceful exhalation and when normal inhalation occurs it slowly opens up the elasticity of the alveolar is maintained if elasticity is maintained whenever you are working more when you want to breathe in more air they will open up and you will not get any breathlessness so these are all about 12 to 13 benefits you get by practicing kapalbhati who will not practice who have got high blood pressure heart attack abdominal hernia abdominal surgery undergone glaucoma gastric ulcer severe back pain and pregnancy they will not practice this they can practice simple kapalbhati without forceful exhalation then coming to the ujjayi is a forceful uh, ujjayi is a friction breathing you have to breathe in with friction which gives benefit like cleans the air passage increases lung capacity you get relief from sinusitis control the blood pressure if your blood pressure is normal you will not get heart attack asthma you will get definitely relief you are practicing ujjayi and you get rid from snoring then coming to the next practice bhamari it will give you good effect because in the nasal passages the nitric oxide is secreted which is good for killing the bacteria when you do brahmari because of the vibrations of this brahmari the nitric oxide which is secreted over here it is released into the circulation and it will kill all the bacteria and you will get relief from any infection so brahmari if you practice every day you will get benefit then agnisar and udiyan it will reduce the fat deposit in the mesentery your tummy will get reduced your uh, digestion will improve you will not get constipation as the pancreas is situated over here the because of the abdominal movement the pancreas gets activated and you will not get diabetes now who will not practice who has got high blood pressure heart disease abdominal hernia abdominal surgery glaucoma they will not practice agnisa this is the udiyan here this is the pancreas which gets activated and you get relief from the diabetes when you practice agnisa or udiyan there is a pressure on the vessels so the impure blood which contains the secretions of the pancreas that is insulin it is thrown out into the circulation so the insulin will be 
easily freely sent to the circulation. So it will help to reduce the blood sugar level. So these benefits you get by doing Agnisar. Then Shankar Prakshalan, who have got a constipation, they can practice this, take two glasses of water in the morning and then practice these different asanas. If you practice these asanas, you will get relief from constipation. It reduces acidity, improves digestion, better nutrition to all organs, relief from constipation and diabetes. Now, you take two glasses of water and when you perform all these asanas, this water will flow through 29 feet intestines and it will clean it. Then asanas, by practicing asanas, it tones up muscles and ligaments, keeps proper distance between the ends of the two ends of the bone, length of the muscle slightly increases, tone increases, there is sustained contraction of the muscle, so there is no resistance against contraction, energy expenditure is less than the active uh, aerobic or other exercises. Then it improves the flexibility, prevents rigidity of the body and increases the stamina and endurance, improves artery and veins arcades functioning into the muscle, it increases blood flow and helps to drain out the metabolites, which are that is called lactic acid. Now, this muscle, whenever there is action, contraction of the muscle, there is an energy utilization and a lactic acid is secreted. This lactic acid is a waste product. If it remains over there, you get cramps. So what happens, suppose you are walking after a few kilometers, what you say, oh, I'm getting cramps. So you sit down. When you sit down, slowly, now because of the walking, muscles are working more, the lactic acid is secreted over here. In, these are the arcade into the muscle. Now this lactic acid, the slowly if it gets drained out, then you say after 5-10 minutes, okay, now I can walk. But if you are practicing asanas every day, the artery venous arcade, this is the artery which is supplying pure blood to the muscle, and this is the vein which is collecting all the uh, uh, carbon dioxide and the lactic acid waste products to be taken out from the muscle. If this arcade is functioning properly, whatever amount of the walking you do, whatever amount of the muscle action is there, Whatever amount of the lactic acid is secreted, it will be washed out immediately and you will not feel tired. So this benefit you get by doing asanas. Now for neck pain and backache, usually the people who are stressed out, we advise them to do Brahma Mudra, Bhujangasana, Naukasana. And... Now this is the cervical spine. Usually when the stressed out person is sitting like this for hours together, so these muscles are overstretched and these muscles are contracted. And after six, seven hours, when it sits like this, oh, my neck is getting pain. So for that, we tell them to do Brahma Mudra. What happens in that? The space between the two vertebrae, if it reduces, the intervertebral disc, it prolapses like this and it presses the nerve. But if you are practicing asanas, then because of these different asanas, this is pressed inside and you will get relief from the pain. Now, Shitali and Shitkari, it will improve the gums, so it will improve the digestion and the teeth will become strong, so uh, mastication will be proper, it will reduce the heat and beneficial for the hypertension patient. We have seen the giving Shitali for 20 times, the blood pressure has come down by about 20 millimeters of mercury. Then Trataka, when you practice Trataka, the relief from eye problems also improves the mind level, improves the decision power reduces stress, and if the stress is reduced, the diseases, stress-related diseases like blood pressure, diabetes, you will get relief from that. So practicing Trataka also will help. Shavasan, if you practice Shavasan, the, all the vessels of the body, muscles of the body relax, particularly the muscles of the coronary arteries, which are supplying blood to the heart, and if they relax, the diameter of the coronary artery increases, more blood flows through that, and you feel fresh. So 10 minutes Shavasan will always make you fresh because the heart will get better blood supply. Then we talk about Priya Yoga. In this, Anlom Vilom 10 times, Omkar 10 times, Gayatri 10 times. Those who are from different religion, they can practice Amen or Amen. And instead of Gayatri, they can practice similar mantra of their own religion. And then meditation with eye closure technique of Kavaladam tradition. This will give you relief from stress your mind will become calm, sympathetic activity will reduce. Omkar, 
when you are practicing omkar your mind becomes cool thoughtless if you do cardiogram similarly if you do encephalogram of the brain it has been seen that if your mind is cool the alpha waves are generated usually the thoughts they are continuously happening you cannot keep your mind thoughtless because science says you cannot keep your mind thoughtless or relaxed for more than 6 seconds if you are awake for 16 hours 10% of it maximum 1 and 1 uh, hour to 30 minutes you can keep it thoughtless but if you try to do it otherwise you are always thinking of thing something what you are thinking either past or future when you are thinking the beta waves are generated when you are not thinking alpha waves are generated the belief system is activated healing system starts functioning means the resources of our body they work in such a way that your body heals on your own you don't have to take any medicine but for that you have to make mind thoughtless and for that you have to practice omkar gayatri the way you think you become jaise hum sochte ho waise hum bante hai yadi main kisi ko kaha kya tum abhitab bachchan ke jaise dikhte ho वो तुरंत खड़ा हो जाएगा अभिताभ बच्चन के डायलॉग मारेगा उसको लगेगा मैं अभिताभ बच्चन हो गया उसी प्रकार हम सूर्योदय की प्रार्थना करेंगे सूर्योदय मुझे तेरे जैसा तेज मिले मेरी बुद्धि तेरे जैसी प्रगल्भ हो तो ऐसी प्रक्रिया होती है वैसे हम बनते हैं इसमें जात पात का धर्म का संबंध नहीं है ये तेज की उपासना है बाय दैट यूर माइंड बिकम स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड यू आर रेडी टू फेस एनी प्रॉब्लम दिस गायत्री मंत्र ओम भूर्भुअस्व ओम तत् सवितु वरेण्यम वर्गो देवस्य धीमहि दियो यो न प्रचोदयात हाउ यू टू चैंट नाउ हियर इज द लाइन ओवर हियर देयर इज अ लाइन बिलो हियर सो हियर बिलो यू हैव टू स्टेक दैट वर्ड हियर यू हैव टू लीव द वर्ड सो आई विल जस्ट चैंट वंस एंड शो दिस यू हैव टू चैंट ओनली वंस एंड देन दिस फॉर 10 टाइम्स ओम भूर्भुव स्व तत् सवितु वरेण्यम वर्गो धीमो यो न प्रचोदयात ओम तत्थ वितुर्वरेण्यम भर्गो देवस्य धीमहि यो यो न प्रचोदयात लाइक दैट यू हैव टू चैंड यू विल गेट मैक्सिमम बेनिफिट सो हाउ यू शुड प्रैक्टिस start with shavasan then practice asanas in supine then prone then sitting and then standing position and practice all these thing which you are discussed just now this will help to reduce the tension asanas on back you can practice crocodile pose ardha halasan pawn muktasan situ bandhasan cycling on tummy bhujangasan shalavasan if they are not contraindicated you can practice it in sitting position standing position and to relieve mental stress kriya yog and kavaladam tradition meditation regarding tension because this is a tension prone era the moment you are in tension you will lose your attention when you are in tension you lose attention you say what to do i should do this or i should do that so you are totally confused and you feel irritated if your friend comes and talks to you what is it? hey keep quiet i am under tension don't disturb me so he feels that oh he is not ready to talk to me so better not to meet him so you will spoil your personal relation ultimately your friend will not come and see oh, he is always agitated irritated don't visit him so you will not get cooperation and get things into complication then what will happen your bp will go up so you will have to take medication so why not to try understand the situation and try to think about the solution many problems will be solved by discussion which will work out better in your profession don't think it is my free suggestion it is only for your prevention if you understand my intention you will never come under tension so this is the best solution for relieving tension and relieving stress also now how much time you should practice there are 24 hours in the day 23 hours you do whatever you want one hour you practice yoga if you practice yoga and after 20 years you look back because you are practicing you are not having any disease you are healthy because you are healthy you are not uh, visited in a doctor so you don't have to spend any money on medicine so you have saved the money so after 20 years you look back 
you are not having any illness so you are a healthy person and you are not spend money on medicine so you are a wealthy person have you understood no uh, somebody is uh, probably from finance so he might not so let us tell him in the money wise suppose you are 20000 salary and 15000 you are spending and 5000 you are saving and practicing yoga so 5000 per month 60000 per year 6 lakhs in 10 years 12 lakhs in 20 years after 20 years you look back you are practicing yoga regularly you are not having any illness you are a healthy man and you have got 12 lakhs rupees at your bank balance so you are a wealthy man and if you are not practicing what will happen today you got back ache tomorrow you got tooth ache so what you will do when you get salary on the first of the month you will keep 2000 rupees aside for medical expenses for all of the month so you have said 3000 so yearly 36000 then in 10 years 3 lakhs 60000 20 years 7 lakh 20000 today you got headache tomorrow you got back ache if this keeps on happening again and again and after 20 years suppose some one of the big illness hits you whatever 7 lakhs were there that will be also spent you will be bankrupt at the level of money as well as health and if you want to avoid that you practice yoga regularly there are conferences of different patches doctors engineers architects similarly cardiologists so they said in 2015 at the end of the conference they issued a statement that in coming era in next 20 15 20 years time is going to come when the heart attack will increase six fold in urban area and three fold in rural area who world health organization everybody knows this because every now and then you listen what who says on corona and all that they have given a statement in year 2000 that by 2030 time is going to come when people will die at age of 20 25 because of the different diseases what to do now they are telling something what we should do but that the 2000 year they didn't tell anything now the modern science which is telling what is going to happen after 20 years is more modern or the yogic science which has told 400 years ago what is going to happen after 400 years is more modern think over it because kavi surdas he has said 400 years ago re man dhiraj kyon dhare रे मन धीरज क्यों न धरे सब तो दो हजार के बाद ऐसा योग परे दो हजार साल के बाद ऐसा समय आने वाला कैसा पूर्व पश्चिम दक्षिण उत्तर चौदीस काल फिरे सर के ऊपर मृत्यु मंडल आएगा पच्चीस तीस उम्र के लोग डायबिटीज ब्लड प्रेशर हार्ट अटैक इसके वजह से मरेंगे सावधान सुनने वाला हैरान हो गया उसको लगा दिया ऐसा होगा तो पृथ्वी के ऊपर हाहाकार मच जाएगा कभी सूरदास बेचारे आंधे थे लेकिन उनको चार साल के बाद क्या होना तो उसका पता था उन्होंने कहा काल व्याल से वही बचेगा जो हंस का ध्यान करेगा सोम का ध्यान करेगा सांस की रफ्तार को नियंत्रित करेगा ये है हरि की लीला टाले नहीं टले ये तो होने वाला है लेकिन यदि हमें उससे बचना है तो हमारे सांस की गति को हमें नियंत्रित करना है और ये सांस की गति को नियंत्रित करने का शास्त्र मतलब योग शास्त्र है एंड दैट इज वाई थिंक ऑफ इट एंड प्रैक्टिस इट ट्राई टू कल्टिवेट गुड हैबिट बिकॉज एंड विच आर दो गुड हैबिट नथिंग बट योग प्रैक्टिस because once you get into the any habit you cannot get rid of it see the fun of the word habit itself h a b i t remove h a bit remains that means some habit is still there remove a bit remains and still is smoking remove b it remains and still is goes to the hiding place and smoke a cigarette do anything habit remains means if you want to get rid of habit try to cultivate good habit and these are all nothing but the yogic practices if you practice you can get rid of stress which is the uh, present problem of 21st century and all the stress prone diseases lifestyle disorders we are facing it you can control them and you can keep them away from you thank you very much hari om Uh, these are my books i will just show you this is the one which i explain with the, all the what are anatomical physiological changes occur in our body while practicing different yogic kriyas this is in marathi this is in english and this is the yoga as therapy where i explained 
what yogic practices you can practice in different your diseases which this is you cannot practice uh, yoga and why you cannot practice all that is given in this book and this is my email id and you you can visit my facebook channel and uh, the youtube channel total health free yoga you will get lot of videos on that so thank you very much dr naik for giving me opportunity to share my thoughts in the stress phone 21st century to all the people who are having more and more or less effects of stress Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much for this. Thank one. you. If anybody is having any questions, sir, we have five ten minutes more. Just go for some question answer session quickly. If anybody has any questions, किसी कोई प्रश्न है तो पूछ सकते हैं. Sudhika ji, can we end the session? I think. Yes, sir. I think no one is having any question. Thank you, Patak sir. It was a great session. Hope kai maithi mirali. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.